Thora Thora Spain decided we watched Benidorm here and we watched the live points and it was big it was Nebulosa with San Pedro the same jury votes San Pedro doing good at the demoscopic or not doing great at the televoting Nebulosa nailing the televoting televoting being high in the demoscopic it was a roller coaster with so many people I discussed that those days this week and I discussed it and I was telling over and over again it's gonna be a roller coaster it's not gonna be so clear winner um, because it was a roller coaster it was so many songs between them that could win but at the end when the juries when the televotings were announcing them it was clear already from the before it was announced how many points the Bulosa gets that it's gonna be Nebulosa. I mean, we know, we knew it. Uh, with Shane, when we did the video, it was already clear that Nebulosa actually wins. And I should be honest that I am a bit happier that Nebulosa goes instead of San Pedro. Nothing uh, bad for San Pedro, but it's like just the type of the song is not my kind of song. And Nebulosa song could be more my type of song than other songs. Of course, I like Jorge Gonzalez a lot. I like Sofia Cole. I like Angie a lot. There were many options that Spain could have had. And they went with the song that went viral in Spain since months, since the songs came out. And it was big. So I started the reaction already. Let's see. The Pilosa. Bam bam. Bam bam. The, the crowd is screaming it. The crowd is going wild there. I love the moment at the end when she was like crying. She was crying happy. And she was giving the opportunity. Maybe she didn't believe it. But I bet she was told many times that she will win. The thing is that she was viral and not so many people went with the song immediately to have it number one. I was one of them. I didn't have the song at number one. I am honest and it was not my winner. It was not my clear winner from the beginning. But Paco made it so hyped. Oh. She's like the queen in the stage and those guys. This could be so easily learned as a lyrics. And the lyrics are femi feminist lyrics. They are like empowering lyrics. Tora, tora, tora. This is the greatest moment of the performance, seeing how the crowd is screaming and this is making you have this feeling of, oh my god, what am I missing? This musically, this, this instrumental part, I love that. Da, 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 da. The portal. She was so much better than the first semi-final. With Shane and here Chris, we agreed exactly the same thing. She was better than the first semi-final. She was very good in the final, way better. And it connected more. From the final, it connected way more. This is gonna be a whole journey for her right now. Thora, Thora. What do you think that this song will do in your vision? I really cannot predict anything right now. I just can say that it's a very enjoyable live performance on the final. 
it's very enjoyable to see that she and him, her husband, her boyfriend, went oh, go to Eurovision and they're gonna have this whole journey of representing Spain and I don't I don't know, I am more sure of her doing better in the televoting in Eurovision than jury votes. But honestly, I hate jury votes either way in Eurovision. I don't agree almost at any kind of jury points on Eurovision from the last five years. I agree more to televotes. And, but I think that this is more televoting, televotes uh, performance. And I like, I like that this is giving the spicy thing there. And I don't know, give me your thoughts. Tell me what you think about Nebulosa.